Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this little cute handbag. We have two sizes, one just like this and one is smaller. They're both very cute. You can make all different colors and all different patterns. Today I'm going to show you this pattern outside all the same color and in the middle have two little flower shape. Okay, the first step once you get the beads you open it and put in a little container make sure you don't lose anything and then you open the fishing line and then hold both ends like this so first you add four this one you count it like if this one have blue more so we use blue make outside and clear beads for the inside if you have clear more, you know, you use clear beads for the outside and the blue inside. So you add four in, the number four beads, you hold in your hand and use your left thumb to go through it by opposite way, like that. And then you hold both ends together and pull these beads down to the end. Sometimes the fishing line will tangled, make sure they're not. So now it will be like this. Okay, so now right hand side line, this side, you will add one bead and left side also add one bead. And then you add one bead for them both to share opposite way. Okay, you pull it down. So now you got two of this shape. So third step is the same. Left side have one bead, right side have one bead, and then add one for them to share. Opposite way. Pull it down. So now you got three like this shape. Okay, so that's actually your bottom of the bag here. Yeah. So now you could go up, do one, two, and then the top. Okay, so now first step is to add three blue beads on your right hand side. One, two, and then use left line to go through it it's always when in the end you use your left line to go through it so now you want to hold like this before that three loop to go to the left and then the one you just made to go up so now I will call this one with bottom line this left hand one I call it bottom line so bottom line I want to go through one two three beads one at a time and then right line's job is to add beads okay so left line goes through the first one bead and the right hand side add two flower beads my one is clear color whichever your one is add together shape like this so now second step is your bottom line go through the left again but one at a time okay so the left line goes through one bead like that and the right line add two flower beads again okay one two put those through it And then make sure the line not tangled. So that would be like this. So now third step is the last bead on this side. Your left line bead line go into it. So right 
left hand side this time we'll add one flower base and one blue base. Okay, so now you turn around this way. So if we it's the same way you have to do for this base. One, two, three, four. Each one goes through it. Okay, and right line always at the base. So left line goes through one. Always do the base next to it, not other base. Okay, so right line add two blue this time because it's the edge of the bag so you use blue color just like that so now you turn this way see it now it's a little bit like a couch so now your left bottom line goes through one base And then right hand side add two flower beads. One, two. Because the fishing line in the bag for a long time, so maybe when you take it out, you pull it a little bit hard to straighten a little bit. Otherwise, it would be a little bit hard to do. And now go to the next piece. One more flower, two more flower beads. Go through it. So remember this bag, it's almost everywhere is four. Four beads for a loop. So if you every time you add beads in you count it, if it's not four, means something wrong. So make sure it's all four beads together. So now this time you add the last bead, it goes through the last beads and then you have to go up to finish this level. So left line goes through two beads, one and two. And then see the two line went like this, both go up like a U shape. And then right hand side add one flower bead to close this level. Alright, see, that's the bottom already done. So now we're then going to go up. So first step is right hand side, this time we'll add three beads. One clear flower and two blue one. One and two. Okay, so we like this, go up. So now you turn this way because the bottom line comes this side. Again, you have to go through each bead once at a time. One at a time. So you go through to the left. And then this time add two blue one again on your right hand side. And the last bead to share. Opposite way. So now you turn this way to go through a clear bead, a flower bead, and this time you will add one blue and one clear, one flower. So now the shape is a little bit like a shoes, like that. All right, so now just keep going until the whole table finish. So go through one base and add one blue, one clear. Okay. And then keep going. Go through to the always go through to the left. And then right side add the beads. 
can uh, this time it be to the end so you add two glue in see you want to make sure all the outside is blue and inside it's clear one okay, so now turn this side to finish this edge Go through one, add two blue. Show one more clear one, and this time add one blue, one flower bead. Alright, so come to this U shape again. That's last bead. So your left thumb you want to go through the last bead and then go up. Go through last bead and then go up. So both line up again and then add one bead for them to share, which is dark blue. So now two level already finished. So now our job is to put add two beads on the top to close it. To close it like that. So your left line will add one blue bead in and then pull to the opposite way to go up. And then you want to go that side to the beads. Yeah. And once you pull it, now your both line will go out like this, and you already add one bead in. So now we add next bead. Okay, so now you hold up like this, and now you add one bead for them both to go through, opposite way. See, you already add two beads in. So now we want to make the line go to the top to the end. So you go up and then this line also let them go up to the end. And then you want that's the top bead. You want them both line to go through them. Go through it. And this side go this way. So the goal is to add two beads in and then move both sides to one side. And now you add, you put both lines together. Now it's time to add the top. So the way I do is three blue and then two clear and then three blue. So you add. Whichever beads come with the pack. If sometimes have a little bit less doesn't matter so so this one I have one two three so I will add two blue and one clear and one blue in the middle and then one clear again and then two blue whichever pattern you like okay so now it's the time to add key ring or whichever things come in the pack. You just add it in and later it's easy for you to hook on something. Alright, so now make sure you pull it up. The beads stay in the middle of these beads. So pull it down. See here? It has to be in the middle here. Okay, so now you go to the opposite side. So again, the end of this bead, you use both lines to go through it opposite way. Like that. Now pull it. See, 
very often they would go crooked like that. So I just pull it up. And then whichever the side have a bit too long line, you pull it harder. Make sure they stay in the middle. So once you did it, you just fix it slowly until you get all straight up. So now the last step is to close it. So the way you can do it is to see all the little holes next to the line. So you just go through from one hole to the other hole. And once the line come out, see the loop here? So you just go through the loop like that. And then pull it. So this side, again, you go through any hole you can go through from one hole to the other hole come out. And then you close it up. You put the line to the loop. Good. And then once you've done that, you can put the rest line into the beads any way you want. You can go any way you want. If you have time, you can finish all the line. If you don't have time, you just do a couple, of, make sure they won't come undone later. The fishing line is really strong, so it should be fine. Alright, so once you did it, you cut it. But once you cut it, make sure you don't cut inside the line. You want to cut as close as you can, but not cut other line. Okay? So that's our little cute handbag done. Thank you for watching my video. So if you need to make order or anything, just send me an email. Or if you have any questions, also feel free to contact me. Thank you. Bye.